Have you noticed? Tesla has placed all its bets on China for every business takeoff, including electric cars and energy storage. Now, the electric car giant is set to build a new energy storage mega factory in Shanghai. This will be its first overseas energy storage factory, aside from its Lathrop factory in California. The factory will be located in Shanghai Lingang New Area and will produce megapacks, which are large-scale commercial energy storage batteries. The initial plan is to produce 10,000 units of commercial energy storage batteries annually, with a storage capacity of nearly 40 GWh. The factory is expected to start construction in the third quarter of 2023 and begin production in the second quarter of 2024. The products will be available globally. On April 10, Musk retweeted Tesla's official announcement of the signing ceremony for the new project on social media, saying that the establishment of the new factory in Shanghai will help expand Tesla's energy storage capacity in California. Well, with US-China relations becoming increasingly tense, why did Tesla choose China? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. Tesla launched its energy storage business in 2015, introducing Powerwall for residential energy storage and Powerpack for enterprise and utility energy storage solutions. Megapack, an upgraded version of Powerpack, was launched in July 2019. It can be integrated and installed with battery modules, inverters, and temperature systems at any time. It helps stabilize the power grid and prevent power outages. Each megapack unit can store over 3 megawatt hours of energy, which is enough to meet the electricity needs of 3,600 households for an hour. Megapacks are available in two options, two hours or four hours. They are mainly aimed at commercial and industrial customers. The 2R product has a power and capacity of 1.9 MW per 3.9 MW hours, while the 4R product has a power and capacity of 1 MW per 4 MW hours. According to reports, the main sales regions for Megapack are mature overseas large-scale energy storage markets such as the United States, Australia, and Europe, with the US market accounting for 63% of sales. 2022 was the year with the fastest growth rate for Tesla's energy storage business, with a total installed capacity of 6.541 GWh, a year-on-year -year increase of 63.9%, accounting for about 15.9% of the global energy storage market share. In addition, last year was also a critical year for Tesla's energy storage business to turn losses into profits. So, why does Tesla want to build a new energy storage mega factory in China? In my opinion, on the one hand, it wants to learn from the successful model of electric cars to quickly expand production capacity and reduce costs. On the other hand, Tesla is bullish on the booming energy storage market in China. As to whether it can stir up the Chinese energy storage market like it did with the Chinese car market, only time will tell. In addition, I think Tesla chose to build a factory in China because of the nightmare of building factories in other countries. In 20 2019, Musk made a very wrong decision. In the month that Shanghai Tesla Super Factory was officially mass-produced, he announced that he would build another factory in Berlin, Germany. This is Tesla's second overseas factory after China. For this factory, Musk has great expectations. He said, Germany has outstanding engineers, and its auto factory has outstanding strength. Later, a German Minister of Economic Affairs even boasted that Tesla's German factory would beat China in terms of construction speed. Really? Many people may have forgotten the miracle of Tesla's Shanghai factory. Let's briefly review it. In October 2018, Tesla announced that it would acquire land to build a factory in Shanghai. Two months later, Tesla signed an investment agreement with Shanghai, and then the local government gave Tesla the green light all the way. For months later, Tesla not only got the land and various construction permits, but even leveled the land, just waiting for the construction team to enter. Less than a year, the Shanghai Gigafactory was built and the first batch of cars were delivered in time. The crazy speed of construction shocked people at home and abroad, so that a lot of drones were shooting over the factory every day. At that time, Musk joked on social media. 
the Shanghai factory needs air control. Now, let's look at the situation of the Tesla's German factory. The super factory, which was originally expected to start construction in early 2020, has been delayed for more than half a year, and the completion date has been repeatedly delayed until March 2022. Tesla's German factory is located in the small town of Greenhide, which belongs to the state of Brandenburg. The local state officials attach great importance to Tesla because it can bring thousands of jobs and huge tax revenue to the town. So in January 2020, the Brandenburg government readily approved Tesla's industrial land. In order to meet the construction deadline, their state government also specially approved Tesla to wait for the approval while leveling the land. Unexpectedly, the days that made Tesla extremely troubled also followed. On January 16, about 200 people went to the Tesla construction site to stage a demonstration, demanding that they immediately stop construction on the grounds that it would damage the local environment. It turned out that there was a very large forest on Tesla's factory land. However, after verification, it was confirmed that this is an artificially planted forest for the production of paper and wood. After Musk heard about it, he came out to refute the rumors in person, saying, this is not a natural forest, and promised to environmentalists that he would plant three times more forests to protect the environment. Soon, environmentalists found a new problem, water resources. They found that the Tesla factory consumes more than 3 million tons of water resources every year, which may affect 30% of the local people's water supply system and cause pollution. At the same time, surrounding residents also spontaneously joined forces with environmentalists to demonstrate. However, Tesla is very embarrassed and helpless, because the population of the town is only about 8,000, and Tesla factory has more than 5,000 jobs. According to the proportion, it is not too much to use 30% of the water. Secondly, most of the water used by Tesla is not domestic water, but industrial water. By the way, not far from Tesla, there are mines operating one after another, and their water consumption and pollution are several times that of Tesla. After repeated negotiations, Musk said that Tesla would only use so much water in extreme cases. Then he promised that Tesla would reduce water consumption, which calmed the complaints of surrounding residents. However, when Tesla was preparing to cut down forests, environmental groups found new problems. They said that there are ants, lizards, bats and other animals in the forest that need to be protected, especially the bat population. They will wake up after two months and then mate. Deforestation at this time will affect the reproduction of the bat race, which is harmful to life. Disregard. As a result, Tesla has another task, to find a new habitat for the migrating birds next year. Tesla had no choice but to hire environmental experts and relevant departments to assist, and then sent a large number of workers to start looking for animals in the forest. As a result, the animal has not been found but the ammunition left by the United States during World War II was found instead, so Tesla has another task, bomb disposal. I guess Musk has started to cry quietly. In the end, after searching a forest the size of about 150 soccer fields, the workers found that the group of bats numbered only five. I don't know what Musk was feeling at the time, but I can only sympathize with Tesla after reading this news. But fortunately, he discovered the location of this group of bats, so Tesla protected the place, moved houses for ants and other animals, and set up 400 bird nests until the local environmental department found no more evidence. In April 2020, Tesla went through untold hardships to level the land and began to apply for certificates. So far, it has taken three months. As a comparison, the Shanghai factory completed the land leveling and various documents within two months. In July 2020, Tesla finally started construction of the plant, and everything seemed to be on the right track. However, what he did not expect was that Tesla fell into a construction nightmare again. In December of that year, two environmental protection organizations in Germany took Tesla to court again, demanding that they stop working immediately, this time on the grounds that the construction of the Tesla factory affected the hibernation of snakes. Well, Tesla can only shut down and wait for the end of the snake's hibernation. This wait is three months, and Tesla will not restart until February 2021. If the sky above the Shanghai Super Factory is surrounded by drones, then the sky above the German Super Factory is definitely a monitor.
This made Tesla and Musk extremely depressed. What he did the most during the construction of the factory was to refute rumors, explain, and promise. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. See you.